guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and um, for those of you who are already subscribed and following me thank you and um, for those of you that aren't please like my video and subscribe to see more videos from me and um, so today I've had a few questions about the types of food I buy um, and back workouts and stuff so I'm going to cover all of that today um, and also I'm going to take you with me um, because I recently won a Time for Nutrition selfie competition on Instagram. So I won £100 worth of um, free stuff. So I'm not sure what I'm going to get. I will decide when I get there. And obviously I will take you with me. Alright, thanks guys. See you soon. Hi guys, just on my way to Time for to pick up my winnings from the Time for selfie competition. Which you can see on my Instagram, which is... Here, and I'm kindly being driven by Kyle. Hey, What's Kyle. Let's go. Who's is also a big Time Four fan. So I will see you there. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, I don't know. Got it. It's trying. It's trying to focus. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Got my free water bottle. Free water bottle. 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 Free water bottle. And then I got my two whey protein. I thought okay. I'd mix it up so I don't get bored. Yeah, fair enough. Flavor wine. Probably the best way. Gotta love a freebie. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm just gonna run through some of the foods that I eat um, because I've had a few questions on my Instagram and stuff about my macros and the types of food that I can eat and everything like that. So, first of all, I track all my macros and I do it using um, MyFitnessPal, which is such a good app. So, I literally knew nothing about nutrition when I first started doing fitness um, and MyFitnessPal basically tracks everything. So, you can just scan the barcode. So, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so, you can literally just scan the barcode. You can go in. I don't know how well you can see it. So anyway, you can, it's, you've got like a little diary, you can add your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. You go, um, you go in and you can click this little add food button. Uh, there's a little barcode bit and you literally just scan the barcode and it picks up all the macros involved in that food and you can then do it by weight or for example with some stuff like bread or the ham that I get, you can do it per slice and it figures it all out for you. Um, also, when you first get the, uh, the My Fitness Pal, it tells you, it asks you what your weight and your height is, what your goals are, and it can figure out your macros for you based on that. Now, um, because I'm doing the 90 Day Summer Shred with uh, for the Christian Guzman thing, I've actually worked out my own macros and then I adjusted it to fit what, what I want for me because I know exactly what my maintenance is and everything like that. Um, but I can go into that in another video in more detail. Um, but so with that, it can figure out all of that and it can tell you roughly, based on your weight and height and your goals, what type of macros you should be eating. So if you're just starting out, it's a really, really useful tool. Um, and I do scan everything that I'm doing at the moment. Um, but one thing I would say is that your one person's macros is going to be completely different to someone else's um, because everyone's bodies work differently. So it doesn't matter if you're the same, maybe size and height or weight as me. Um, it doesn't mean your macros will be the same because your metabolism might be different, you might react differently to different foods, um, you might react differently to carbs or fat or sugars or anything like that. So it's always worth working out for yourself. Um, I basically did it through like a trial and error. So I started doing my macros and then adjusted it based on how my body reacted to that. So I actually had to eat, when I was bulking, I had to eat a lot more than the MyFitnessPal recommended because I've got really, really high metabolism. So to gain weight, I had to eat so much food, which I'm really missing at the moment. Um, but anyway, enough on that. Um, so I'm just gonna go through, as I said, some of the food I eat. Now, at the moment, because I'm cutting, it's not that exciting, if I'm honest. Um, for breakfast, I tend to have two of Asda's um, free range, extra large eggs. I always get the free range brand. Um, now for two of those, the macros are, I've got it all written down. The macros are, um, zero carbs, 10.8 grams of fat and 15 grams of protein. Now if you obviously, the yolks are what is fatty, there's no fat in the whites. So if you wanted 
no fat or less fat, you could maybe remove one of the yolks or just have all egg whites. Um, I don't tend to get that much fat in my the rest of my food and I like having the yolks so I work my day around having that 10 grams of fat in my breakfast because I like it. Uh, I either do that scrambled or like this morning I had um, soft boiled eggs. Uh, with that as well I always get the um, honey roasted ham on the bone. Again all of this is from Asda and that's really nice because it's really sweet as well with a touch of honey so it's really nice and for one slice the macros are 2.5 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fat and 21 grams of protein. So I tend to have two of those which is obviously what? 42 grams of protein and then with my 15 grams of protein with the eggs it whacks it right up so that's really useful because I'm having about 130 grams of protein a day. Um, so that tends to be my breakfast and then for kind of lunches and dinner I mix it up with either chicken which I get from musclefood.com so Aaron and I buy that in bulk. Um, we prefer the muscle food one because it tends to be more protein, there's less water so you've got, you're getting more for your money as well. Um, now in 100 grams of that there is 0.7 grams of carbs, 1.1 grams of fat and 22.4 grams of protein. Um, so depending on how the rest of my day has gone I tend to have maybe about 150 grams, maybe 100 if I've eaten too much of other stuff, um, but that's really good and it's great for us because we're both eating it, we buy in bulk so it, it works out a lot cheaper. Um, and then with that, well, and the other main meal food that I have is um, Asda's Extra Lean Steak Mint, which is typically less than 5% fat. So we used to have, I used to have turkey mints. Uh, which is a lot lower in fat, there's like basically no fat in it at all. But it's it's not very nice, it hasn't got much taste, it's a bit boring. Um, basically it's a bit shit, so I don't really like that. So we moved on to the steak mints, um, and because it's less than 5% fat, the macros are really good on it. Um, so for again, for 100 grams, it's um, zero carbs, 4.3 grams of fat, so very little, and 26.6 grams of protein. So again, I have about probably 150 grams of that, and I tend to pair that with um, Asda's rigatoni pasta. Now, it's quite high in carb, but it's also, for pasta, quite high in protein. So you can get cheaper brands that are, I mean, this isn't expensive, I think it's about a pound for 500 grams. But um, you can get cheaper brands for like 50p, and the carb ratio in them is a lot lower. So if you are getting hungry, you could get that and essentially eat more of it. But I like this one, one, because I like the taste, but also it has more protein in it. So for 50 grams of the pasta, you get 36 grams of carbs, 0.8 grams of fat, and six grams of protein. So obviously if you're having 100 grams, that's 12 grams of protein just from pasta. So I really like that. Um, another thing that I sometimes mix my food with is, so I tend to have either pasta or rice. Um, and I get the Uncle Ben's long grain rice. Now, there's 250 grams in a pack. Again, depending on how my macros have gone for the day, I'll either have a whole pack or half a pack. At the moment, I'm cutting, so I generally tend to just have half a pack. But for 100 grams of that, it is 30 grams of carbs, 0.9 grams of fat, and 2.9 grams of protein. So again, it's really not very bad at all. Now, with the kind of dinners, I don't tend to have any sauces at the moment. So, like, shop-bought sauces are um, really high in sugar normally and sometimes really high in fat. So I'm trying to avoid those. Um, I will either mix it with... I tend to just get tin tomatoes that you can get because that's really low in everything. Um, also, with the mints, I have a bit of ketchup with it. I don't track that because... I'm not having enough for it to affect my macros. Um, also, to kind of bulk out my meals a bit, I tend to mix it with things like red peppers or broccoli. Um, again, I don't track those. I mean, for like in a red pepper, um, there's what, three grams of carbs? And I think like nothing else. So it's just not enough to affect my macros enough for me to, to adjust, to, to count it. But um, it just helps bulk up the meal a bit more. I also do it with, um, sometimes add a bit of sweet corn. So this is the Green Giant original sweet corn. And again, for 100 grams of that, it's 11.8 grams of carbs, 
um, 1.7 grams of fat and 2.4 grams of protein. So I do tend to count that because 11 grams of carbs is, is a bit too much to not track. Um, but it really helps just add a bit of substance and a bit more to your meal to bulk it out to make sure that you kind of get full. Um, something else I have as well, I sometimes have um, like beans on toast. So I just get the Heinz beans. Um, for 100 grams of that, is it? Yeah, well, for a whole tin, because I always have a whole tin if I have beans on toast, it's 51.8 grams of carbs, um, 0.8 grams of fat, and 19.4 grams of protein. So it is quite high on the carb side. Um, protein's not bad, and the fat's really low. So if you can fit it into your macros, if you want to work it around, I, really, I love a bit of beans on toast. <laughs> um, something else is when I season a lot of my food with um, Schwartz garlic pepper. This is really good, like it adds so much flavouring um, and it's really easy so I don't have to cut up and mash or grind or whatever, um, not like natural garlic. And this adds a bit of pepper as well so it's really tasty, I add that to my mince and my chicken. And then I also season with things like salt, but again, not enough really for me to bother tracking. Right, so, right, in regards to snacks, I am a big snacker. And I have a really, really big sweet tooth. So, one of the things that I I get, so snack-wise, I tend to have like a pre-workout meal. Um, I have toast with a bit of Nutella on. My guilty pleasure is Nutella. I love Nutella. Um, and because of, you know, it's got a bit of sugar, it gives me a bit of energy for the gym as well. So, bread-wise, we forgot to buy a new one, so it's like an empty pack. But we get the farmhouse, the Warburton's farmhouse soft white bread. I know loads of people love brown bread or whole grain and stuff like that. I just don't really like it. So I do get the white, um, but honestly, I don't, it's not that bad, I don't think. So for one slice, it's 18.5 grams of carbs, 1.1 gram of fat, and 4.2 grams of protein. So I have maybe one or two slices a day. I might add it to my breakfast and might have like um, soldiers. Or like I said, I'll have like a pre-workout snack of um, toast and Nutella. Now, as I mentioned, Nutella is my guilty pleasure. I, could, I literally could eat this, well, I do eat this with a spoon. Not at the moment, which I'm missing, but I literally would used to sit in front of the TV with a spoon and just eat this. But again, it's not awful. Considering it's my guilty pleasure, I can fit it into my macros. Um, so for 15 grams, which is probably about a serving, um, it's 8.6 grams of carbs, 4.7 grams of fat and only no, uh, 0.9 grams of protein. So, it's not awful. Definitely worth fitting it in, is all I can say. Um, another thing I get, because I have a massive, massive sweet tooth, I love a bit of sugar. Um, I do get, but the problem is, if I buy like a big bag of sweets, like if I buy Tang Fastics or something, I can't stop and I just keep going and going and going and suddenly my macros are like, through the roof. So what I do is I buy the small bags. So recently I bought the round tree jelly tots. Um, and show you a bag is about 15 grams, I think. Let's check, one bag. Yeah, 15 grams. So they're only small. You get quite a lot in here though, to be fair. Um, and for one bag, it's 12.7 grams of carbs and only trace amounts of fat and protein. So not enough to, to even kind of list on the packet. Um, so basically 12 grams of carbs really isn't a lot and it's so worth it. It really kind of curbs my sweet tooth. Hi, sorry. Aaron came home so I got a little bit distracted but he did bring something else back that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, so as I was saying, for snack wise, uh, I spoke about the jelly tots and the Nutella and everything. Another thing that's really useful is we get these Hartley's um, fat free 10 calorie jelly pots. Now you can get these in loads of different flavours. Um, our favourite is raspberry and, oh, I got two raspberries. Raspberry and strawberry, but these are two raspberries. And literally, it's not even 10 calories. Literally in one pot, I think it's seven calories. And that's made up of 2.3 grams of carbs, no fat and trace protein. So literally, one of these, 2.3 grams of carbs, and they are so tasty. Like, can't get enough of them. So they're really helpful as, like, again, a little snack to kind of curb your sweet tooth. Um, now, another guilty pleasure. This isn't great for you, but it is so good. 
we again I'll only have these on days where I've purposely worked it into my macros so it is Mars ice cream bars they are so good so for one bar it's 15.9 um, grams of carbs 7.7 grams of fat and 1.7 grams of protein but they are so delicious so again sometimes at the end of the day if I purposely fit them into my macros and saved it for the evening when we're watching Netflix or something I will snack on one of those and I have to because Aaron's obviously bigger than me and he's got more he can eat more to kind of stall his weight you know our macros his macros are a lot higher than mine and I get really bad food envy and if he's eating one of those next to me I have to have one so if I can't have one because I haven't been to my macros Aaron can't have one because <laughs> I get so jealous but so that's pretty much everything now that's just I, I do go through phases and I kind of mix up what I eat and I stick to one thing for a while like at the moment I'm predominantly eating like I said mince and chicken but I do mix it up and have other things as well so I'm sure I'll cover that at some point um now the one thing that Aaron brought home is the grenade carb killer high protein um, and these are the white chocolate cookie protein bars now Aaron is in love with these I really like them they're really good probably not my favorite protein bar I don't think but they are really nice and they do taste just like Milky Way essentially now in one bar where's the macros here we go one bar you have 15.2 grams of carbs 8.1 grams of fat and 22.4 grams of protein so really useful as like a midday snack or you know if you're fasting in the morning Louise, can you hit Burnley? I think Aaron's winding up. Should we go see him? So I think that's pretty much everything food-wise for today. Um, if you have any, if you want to know any more, let me know. Comment below. Um, or if you've got any tips for good food. I love food. I love cooking. So any good tips about anything you think I should try, um, let me know. So I will see you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Six hours later. Hi guys, we're just on the way to the gym um, to film a back workout and I'm going with Aaron, who's with me at the moment. And we're gonna meet Kyle, Ian, and and our friend Katie's just started working at the gym, so we'll hopefully see her there. We will hopefully see her there as well. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> We're just in the gym and we are here with K2. Say hi. hi. Ian. Yeah. Kyle. You're on my way. <laughs> and Aaron and Anne are off somewhere. Um, I'm sure we'll see you later. Wish me luck.
Goodbye, good night, till next time. Bye.